Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Today I've got some awesome news for you guys concerning the Verizon Galaxy Note 3. Hashcode has released his preview version of SafeStrap Recovery for the Verizon Galaxy Note 3. Now this does not require an unlocked bootloader, which is pretty awesome considering that uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 on Verizon probably has one of the least likely bootloaders uh, to be unlocked. So, uh, so far no one has made any progress on unlocking the bootloader. As far as I can tell, no one really has any great or grand ideas as to how that's going to happen. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. Hopefully the bootloader can be unlocked. But honestly, we don't even really need an unlocked bootloader with SafeStrap because it uses second in it to bypass the bootloader altogether. Uh, so before we really get started, I just want to mention this recovery is not a full-on recovery. It does work to flash ROMs, but if you try to boot the ROM, it's not going to work yet because this, like I said, it's a preview version. Uh, so don't expect to be able to flash ROMs immediately. Uh, this is being released strictly for testing. So if you want to jump on this, you can jump on it and you can do some testing. And I also think in the forum here, Hashcode actually has a place where you can go uh, Looks like there is an IRC channel where you can go and help with the testing. So basically, just to give you a quick little backstory, uh, getting SafeStrap on this device has been a complete and utter headache. Even Hashcode himself, as he was working on the recovery, had his doubts as to whether or not he'd be able to get this working. Uh, he worked in tandem with Beanstown 106 uh, to get SafeStrap working. Of course, they were going back and forth. Beanstown had a device, Hashcode did not, and that wasn't going as well as they had hoped. So Beanstown decided to send his device over to Hashcode, and then of course they had a little donation drive to get that device paid for for Hashcode, and overnight it seems like the device was paid for. So there's obviously a strong will and a strong want for ROMs on this device. So big shout outs to Hashcode for getting the safe strap recovery working. Hopefully we'll have ROMs working on this device soon. He's also promised that he will continue development on the Verizon Galaxy Note 3. So real quickly, I also thought it would be appropriate to uh, give a big shout out to Obsidian for hooking those two guys up in the first place. Uh, a lot has really happened, a lot of progression has been made on this device since Hashcode and Beanstown kind of began their partnership. Hopefully they will continue to work together to get some awesome stuff done on this device. If you want to get this installed and check out the preview build of SafeStrap, you want to head to the link in the description to bring you to this thread. You'll scroll down to the download link right here and before you install this uh, once again keep in mind that this is a preview build only this has the potential of bricking your device if for any reason you land in a soft brick you can just simply flash the root de la vega odin file in odin that'll bring you back to stock rooted and you shouldn't have any other issues so it, it would be recoverable any kind of brick that you would uh if you were to find yourself in a brick state, all you have to do is flash that root de la vega odin file. So we'll go ahead and get started. You'll just go to this download link, download the file. You'll go to your download folder and you will install this file. You'll need to go into your settings and check unknown sources and install. Once that's installed, you can open SafeStrap, grant super user permissions and install the recovery. Okay, so just a quick overview of SafeStrap. SafeStrap is a true custom recovery. It is based off of Team Win Recovery Project. Uh, the cool thing about SafeStrap is that it does allow for multi-booting. So basically what you have here is uh, you can have up to five ROMs. One of those ROMs will be on your stock ROM slot. As you can see, the ROM slot up here says stock. Uh, if we went into the boot options, you would be able to uh, go over into a custom ROM slot. So you can have up to four custom ROMs. These would be considered your safe ROM slots. And then, of course, you'll have your stock ROM slot there. With this being based on Team Win Recovery Project, it does have all the same features. So you'll be able to make an Android backup. You'll be able to restore your backups. And any other functionality that you know of from Team Win Recovery Project, you will have that in SafeStrap as well. So with this being uh, semi-functional, you should be able to make a backup of your current setup and uh, you should even be able to restore that backup. Um, 
Hashco did say in this preview build you will not be able to install ROMs or even if you are able to install ROMs they won't function properly uh, for whatever reason the modem won't work you won't be able to connect to the network you're gonna have all kinds of issues if you try to install any kind of custom ROM so we'll stay away from that for now but as soon as the official build of SafeStrap is released we'll cover it here on this channel so you want to make sure that you are subscribed to this channel for that if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Galaxy Note 3 and other devices. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Once again, big shout outs to Hashco for this awesome development. Beanstown106 for his help. Obsidian, who has been instrumental in hooking these guys up. Uh, and uh, everyone else who has helped out on this project. Big shout outs to them. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.